the code is not working. where I left off with the R code last night at 1am before I gave up and went to bed. The code is not working. The stats is not statsing. I have to leave the house in three hours to present this data to my boss. Data that I don't have that I promise. I'm just gonna crunch numbers this morning. I'm very tired. Let's just get to it. My date is not done.
Meeting actually went okay. I did not get smoked. The data turned out mediocre. It was okay. I have a lot more writing to do and a lot more stats to crunch. It's gonna be a really, really, really long day. I think I'm gonna head back to the office, do a bit more work, and then we'll see how it goes. This is my version of a lazy lunch. Cucumber salad is something that I discovered recently. My friend taught me how to make it. Usually I would already have yams also meal prepped in the fridge, but I ran out. So I just steamed it on the stovetop for 30 minutes while I got unready from work. I was literally like dying and crashing in the office by 1 p.m. I was so tired. I'm gonna slowly eat my lunch, maybe take a break for an hour before I get back to work. We're only halfway through the work that I need to do today, which is so sad. I'm exhausted. My brain is not functioning. I don't know how I'm gonna keep writing, but we're gonna power through because I don't wanna do this tomorrow. God. <laughs> I'm gonna be a bit crazy and I might regret it in like an hour or so, but 
I'm gonna go on a run. Don't get me wrong, I am exhausted. I've been up for like 15 hours, but I still have at least two or three hours worth of work ahead of me that I need to get done tonight before I go to bed. I have been sitting in front of my computer and staring at a screen since 5.30, 6 in the morning. If I'm gonna get through tonight, I feel like I just need to get out of the house and exercise a little bit. I'm gonna aim for a 5K minimum, and then if I feel like I can do more, I'll probably run up to seven or 8K tonight. Running has me grabbing my my old old airpods again these are like first gen airpods that i got in 2017 it is so crazy okay let's go i'm so scared <laughs> I've been struggling quite a lot lately with my skin, so I just want to keep skincare simple. Just the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and then a little CeraVe Moisturizer. I don't use hair conditioner, I only shampoo and shower, so this is the hair oil that I use afterwards. I feel like conditioner is just a bit too heavy and greasy on my hair. This hair oil I've been using for five years now, and this is still my first bottle because I literally use like that much, so little. really hard and it's almost 11. I'm glad I went on that run. I think I really needed just to get out of the house but I am ready to sit back down and get work done again. Before I left the cafe I actually wrote down like a to-do list of all the things I still need to work on. I don't think I'm actually gonna get through all of these. I need to get through like the first half. I'm hoping it doesn't take longer than two hours. That's what I'm going for. No procrastination. I'm gonna get to work. We got this. Ah. <laughs> like a train wreck. It's past 1 a.m. now. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would to get all of the work done, but I was really adamant on checking off all the things I need to check off. I'm happy that by the end of it, I was able to do it, but at what cost? I think this is the longest I've ever stayed up awake since first year undergrad, and that was seven years ago. I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, which means I've been awake for 20 hours now. I am losing my train of thought. I'm very tired. Let's not do this for a little while. I'm not built for this. I don't have the stamina anymore. Thank you everyone for being here. I hope your summer studying is going well. I'll see you guys next time.